Right, so final video for straight line is concurrent lines. And three or more lines are said to be concurrent if they intersect at a single point. And we can use simultaneous equations to calculate that point of intersection and then substitute it into the third line to determine if they are concurrent or not. So our example here is we've got three lines that have equations y equals 7x minus 6, 8y minus 5 equals 3x, and 10x minus 9y equals 1. And we need to determine whether these lines are concurrent. Now, it doesn't really matter which lines you use in order to work it out, but I'm going to use the first two lines and then substitute the point into the third line to check whether these lines are concurrent. So we've got y equals 7x minus 6. And we want to rearrange that so that both of our variables are on the left hand side. And so we're going to get y minus 7x equals negative 6. Right. So the second equation is 8y minus 5 equals 3x. And again, we want variables on the left, number on the right. So we're going to end up with 8y minus 3x. And that's going to equal positive 5. So that's equation 1. And that's equation 2. Now, we don't have a variable that's the same, but we do have a single y here. So it would make sense if we scale equation 1 by 8 so that we can eliminate the, the y term. So we're going to do 1 multiplied by 8. And that's going to give us 8y minus 56x. And 8 times negative 6 is going to give us negative 48. And that's going to be our equation 3. So we've now got a common coefficient. So we're going to do equation 2, take away equation 3. So 2, take away 3 to eliminate that y term. So we've got minus 3x, and we're taking away negative 56x. So that means we're adding on 56x. So that gives us 53x. And we've got 5, and we're taking away negative 48. And that's going to give us positive 53. And so dividing both sides by 53, gives us x equals 1. Now we need to work out what the y coordinate is. So we're going to sub x equals 1 in equation 1. So y minus 7 times 1 equals negative 6. So we're going to add that 7 on, so y equals 1. So we know that these two lines intersect at 1, 1. Now, we need to work out whether this third line is concurrent. So we're going to sub One, one in ten x minus nine y, and hopefully 
it's going to equal 1. And if it does, then it's concurrent. And if it doesn't, then it isn't concurrent. So 10 times 1 minus 9 times 1 does equal 1. Therefore, lines are concurrent at 1, 1. Writing with a mouse is not easy. At one one and that's all there is to it so exercise 1.10 is the final exercise if you want to have a look at exercise 1.11 it's on stuff that's not examinable any problems then let me know and i will be happy to help good luck